Okay, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet right now because it is still, it is 5.34 in the morning and that's probably a good time to ask what the, how I'm doing. What is this that I'm doing? I had this epiphany, this bleh, I hate, <laughs> that, that makes it sound much more romantic than it is. So here in Kelowna, the sun rises at about 5.15 in the morning and it sets at about 8.30 in the evenings in May. I like being outdoors, so why not maximize the amount of time that I have with the sun? The other benefit of waking up at 5 a.m. is that all the people that would normally stare at me for rambling into a camera aren't awake yet. Oh, Jesus. Are the muscles warmed up? Yeah, that's not so bad. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. Right now I'm riding on this wave of energy, but I've never been a morning person. And, and I don't want this to seem like some kind of like rise and grind entrepreneur lifestyle because that's, that's not what this is. Hey buddy. Yeah, I'm awake too. So far, my only qualm with waking up this early is that I forgot it's a little bit chillier the first thing in the morning. So next time I might not wear shorts. In theory, what's preventing me from waking up with the sun all the time is a societal construct. In Canada, most jobs, schools, and businesses open sometime between 8 and 10 a.m. Most people save their activities for the evenings and get accustomed to waking up just early enough so that they aren't late for their day. This makes sense during our winters, when the weather is cold and the sun doesn't rise until just before work or school begins. But those short winter days are a trade-off for long summer days. And for whatever reason, it's a trade-off that we don't seem to take advantage of. In the summer, people generally wake up at the same time that they would during the winter, without realizing that they've lost three or four hours of perfectly good daylight. Perhaps that's not such a bad thing. Maybe you really don't need 15 hours of sunlight in a day. I'm sure there are people from Alaska or the Yukon or Norway who dread the idea of the 22 hours of sunlight they'll get in late June. But for me, it gives me a chance to try something new. A chance to see the world before most people wake up. Okay, so here's my idea. For the next week, I'm going to wake up 15 minutes before the sun rises. I'm going to get all the stuff I need to do, brushing my teeth, getting dressed, putting on deodorant perhaps remembering a hair tie. We get that all done before the sun's up and I'm gonna be out the door as the sun is rising. And I'm gonna document it all. The days I go 12 rounds with the snooze button, you know, the days that I crash at 5 p.m. But I'm gonna see for one week what this different lifestyle is gonna be like. And then after a week, I'm gonna report back and let you know what I think of waking up inordinately early for the sole purpose of seeing something different and getting more of the actual day. So there's one more thing that I wanted to do um, before I ended this video, and that was surprise my family and give them a call. Uh, so most of my family lives in Toronto, so I'm gonna give my mom a call and see what she thinks of my idea of waking up at 5 a.m. every morning. Oh man. Hi, why are you up so early? Hi, that's a good question, isn't it? The other benefit of waking up at 5 a.m. is that all the people that would normally... <laughs>